Hi, my name is Kit and I teach philosophy at Azim Premji University. And I thought I'd tell you about what I've been doing today. In the morning I woke up and I did a bit of research into philosophy. What I spend most of my time thinking about is how scientists reason. Scientists start with this evidence and they seem to make these leaps to theories. But they leap in ways that are really accurate. They're able to make the right predictions. They're able to build technologies. And it's a puzzle how you manage to do that. If you go and ask scientists, and, and I do, you'll often get different answers. Answers that can't all be right. So I actually spent the morning thinking about the role of emotions in scientific reasoning and in reasoning in general. I was reading this interesting paper which was trying to show that emotions aren't actually obstacles to reasoning well. But actually, if you want to reason well, you have to have your emotions in order. Emotions are actually part of thought. I even went to the extreme of having an emotion just is a thought. So that was my morning. I, I read this. It included some neuroscience, some psychology, a bit of philosophy. One of the wonderful things about philosophy is that you get to read so many different disciplines.